My sister asked me to build a shelf above her couch to display art and pictures. So I built a really simple structure using minimal materials that looks great on the wall. Here's how I did it. I picked up one by six boards, two of them, that were eight feet long. When picking out the boards, I made sure they weren't warped, had clean edges, and as few knots as possible. Depending on where you're shopping, you may have to dig around a bit until you find some winners. All the measurements that I'm using can be adjusted based on the desired look, especially the length. One of the boards will not get cut, so I set that aside. The other board gets cut lengthwise, so I have a strip that's three quarters of an inch. Since the board is three quarter inches thick, the cutoff should basically be a long square stick. Now I could attach the back and bottom of the shelf. The uncut one by six is the base. The rest of the cut board is the back and sits on top of the base. I pre-drilled holes so as not to split the wood. Then put a strip of wood glue where they will meet. I used clamps to hold the two pieces together as I drove in the screws, making sure the edges were flush. I used one and a half inch screws here. Once I put a few screws in, I leaned it back to make it a little easier as I drove in the rest of the screws, placing them every eight to 12 inches or so. Making sure that the edges meet up cleanly is crucial to making this shelf look square. I wiped any excess glue, then attached the front edge the same way. This one was easier because it's so small, but still important to get the edges flush. I used one and a quarter inch screws here so they wouldn't pop through the other side. The side edges of the shelf need to be cleaned up. I started by hand, but decided I would rather trim a few inches off the edge. My chop saw would not be able to cut the whole thing at once, so I trimmed both edges of the shelf with a circular saw instead. The cuts from both sides were a little off, but that's okay, because I cleaned it up with some power sanding. I continued to sand all the other flat edges, especially the front edge where the little piece meets the base. I then hand sanded the corners and long edges to soften up anything sharp. I gave it a really thorough vacuuming and wiped it down with a barely damp rag to get rid of any dust. It was really easy finding all my paint supplies because it was all organized in this new cabinet. I rolled out some paper and got to work. I decided to hand brush the entire thing because it would be hard to roll the inside corners. I did two passes with one brush, let that dry for a few hours, then came back again and did another solid coat. The important thing is to make sure the knots can't be seen through the paint. A darker color may require less paint because the knots disappear easily, but this semi-gloss white paint just required a bit more painting. I didn't paint the back because it'll be hidden against the wall. After the paint dried, it was looking really good, and now it was ready to mount on the wall. I wrapped it up in the paper that was protecting the floor and took it over to my sister's. I first found the studs using a stud finder. Then we brought the shelf up to the wall to figure out where it would sit vertically and horizontally. When it was set, I transferred the locations of the studs onto the shelf. 
I took the shelf outside and pre-drilled holes with a countersink bit one inch from the top. Then it was ready to mount. We brought the shelf back to its spot in the wall, got it fairly level, and drove in a screw. We got it perfectly level before driving in the rest of the screws. This wall is extra thick because it's plaster, so I used three inch screws to reach the studs behind. Once all the pre-drilled screws were in, I added a few more at the ends to cinch the sides to the wall. The last step was to add a bit of touch-up paint to blend the screws in and make them nearly disappear. They'll mostly be hidden behind pictures anyway, but this helps give it a finished look. And that's it. It looks really good for only consisting of two boards, some screws, glue, and paint. This shelf could be a shorter length in a smaller space or cut into some smaller sections and staggered on a wall. Heck, you could even make it longer if you really wanted to. The possibilities are endless. Either way, this thing was really easy to make and my sister is excited to have a nice place to show pictures and stuff. She's even planning on using it to decorate for the holidays. Okay, that's it for now. See ya. They're fine financially. They're pretty fruit. When you step on. I kicked this chair with my foot. Okay, Mira, you okay? Don't curse on my camera. This is a family oh, friendly channel. Sorry. Aren't you gonna edit this all out? Yeah. <laughs>